So yes, I actually can't believe it. 2K22 has been out for less than 48 hours. And you guys see the title correctly. I'm getting my first pink diamond already. So first things first, you can see my team. It's obviously looking quite nice. But the best part about my team right now is we've got this, but also 150,000 MT. And with that MT, we're going to be using it to be able to get our first pink diamond. So there's a couple of ways you can get pink diamonds this early. First of all, you can play the draft mode and end up getting Glenn Robinson from the picks. That's not not how we're going to be doing it. You can also get Wilt Chamberlain from the Unlimited Rewards. Again, not how we're doing it. And to be honest, I don't even know if it's possible to get to the Pink Diamond Rewards in the token market. But if you can, that's another opportunity there. But the way that we're going to do it is we're going to do it through the exchange. And you guys can see the man right there. It's Sleepy Floyd. That's the player I want to get. Because if you don't know how the exchange works, basically it's where you put a whole bunch of your players into the exchange to exchange it for one better player. And for us, it's this 95 overall Pink Diamond Sleepy Floyd. And when we go into it, this is what we need. It's actually quite a lot of stuff, but it's not too hard. The only annoying thing is, is we do need a diamond player, five amethysts and two original owner amethysts. So that's seven amethysts all up. So all up, I'd say this set probably costs about 150,000 MT, which is definitely a lot, but I want to see if it's worth it. So that's what we're trying right now. Also, as this is my first pink diamond, let's see if we can get 2,500 likes on this video. I know we can do it. No, 5,000. What? All right, let's try for 5,000. So first things first, we have to put in 13 Warriors players. I do have quite a few right here. So I actually might do the original owner first just to make sure. So let's put our original owner golds into it already. So let's go just from the back and we may as well. If I see any players like Sean Bradley and so on, I won't put them in. But there is quite a few players that we can put in here. I think there's what, 16 we need. Wait, make that even more. It was 18. So now we just put all of those in and hold square. And then we've already got all the original owner golds done just like that. And now we have to do our Warriors players. So I'm literally going to put all these Warriors players in that I have in my collection right now, just because we may as well. That's six of them and we need 13, so not too bad. Wait, what? Oh, I only selected three of them. Okay, don't, just don't worry. It still says, why can I not put these players? What? Okay, it must be because it's a different logo of the Warriors. So see how these Warriors players have the classic logo? I think if we put Festus Azelian, who actually has the original Golden State logo, it should work. So let's see if Festus Azili will go in and... Yeah, he does. Okay. Let's try it like this though. Let's go send to my auctions. And now if they're in my auctions, will it work? That's the real question. It didn't. So that means I need nine Warriors players, but it has to be current day Warriors players, which is kind of annoying. So all I'm doing is just filtering Warriors players right now. And we're going to look for players like Festus Azili and so on. So let's hope we can see a current day Warriors player. And so far there's none. Great. This is going to be so much more expensive than I thought. Harrison Barnes, they're just getting even more expensive now. I should probably try this logo and see if this one will work of the Warriors because this is only 900 MT. So I'm not really losing too much if I buy it. Let's try it. Okay. So does Joe Barry Carroll work? Please say it will. It will make it so much cheaper and nope. All right. Looks like it's going to be quite expensive for us. Let's go Festus Azili, Harrison Barnes and get through it all. I could not tell you how much harder this makes it, but we only need six more Warriors players. Okay. So each Warriors player is going for about 5k right now. I'm just going to wait just a little bit. Now let's just do everything else. So let's do our original owner Ruby players. I'm going to go the, yeah, we'll do Morris Peterson. That's okay. And then what? I'll go uh, Manu Ginobili. I think, I think that's it. So it is a little annoying putting these players in, but it's what we got to do. So it's all right. And then next up, we have our two Amethyst players. I am going to go Artis Gilmore, who is a player I use on my team, but also Paul Westfall. So not the best, like it is... I feel like this is bad value, but we will get a pink diamond out of it, which is cool. And then we have five normal amethysts. So I'm going to go the five players that, you know, I hardly use. So these ones right here, they don't go for anything at all. I'm not going to put the colossal players in because they're actually quite expensive. But now let's just see the cheapest amethyst that we can find. And they're going for more than about 4,000 MT, 5,000, let's see. Yeah, okay, 5,100. Let's get Bernard King. That's our final one, All right? Our final amethyst, Bernard King, put it in. And just like that, we've almost done everything. We need the Warriors players and and the diamond. Oh, 75K. That's actually a really good price. Let's get it. Let's get it. Duron Williams. Good. We got him. Let's go. I can't believe I just bought a diamond that I'm not going to use for a single game. I will buy him back, but Duron Williams is going to be the player that we will put into the exchange. I hate doing this, but we're exchanging him for hopefully a better card being the pink diamond. So now we've done everything. All we need now is just six Warriors players. And I wish, I wish I could use these players right here, but because they're historic, I can't. Look, we'll try again and 
It won't go up at all. It's on seven. It stays at seven. <sighs> I think I'm just going to do it. I think I'm just going to overpay. I want to get this video out ASAP, which is the reason I'm doing this. I do not recommend you buy these players for this much. But yeah, I'm spending about 5K on emeralds and golds. Do not do this. Is that real money? No. <laughs> and just like that, I've bought all the players we need. So now we just need to put these three extra Warriors players into the collection. So let's go. These three right here, Festus Azealia, Harrison Barnes, and Andre Iguodala. Let's put them in the exchange and we're finally going to get our first pink diamond. So let's go. We did it and bang, pink diamond, Sleepy Floyd. Let's go. There's our first exchange. I like it. And it's the best one. So when we look at our unopened packs, we do have this one right here for Sleepy Floyd. I'm actually so excited to see this animation. So let's open it. Let's just hope the pink diamond animation is fire. So we go into it and we see it and yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks actually a little red, I will say. I don't know if that's just me. Kind of looks like the Portland Trailblazers, the middle of their logo, but I still very much like it. It's time to flip it though. Let's go through and see our man's Sleepy Floyd, our first pink diamond player. I'm one of the first people in the world to have this card for sure. And it feels good because it is going to be a beastly card to start the year. Sleepy Floyd, welcome to the team. Uh-huh, I like it. Now it's time to check his stats though. I've got no idea what they are. So he's a 96 on offense, an 88 on defense, which is definitely good. And then he's six foot three. I quite like that so far. So he's got 91 driving layup and 84 three, which isn't the best, but you can put a shoe on to make it a bit better. 70 driving dunk, which is pretty good. Good ball handling, good passing. I just hope he's fast. Please say he's really fast. He's not that fast. I don't think this is worth it at all looking at his stats. Like his stats look okay, but if they made this card an Amethyst, like he, he should be an Amethyst by the looks of his stats. He's got four Hall of Fame badges, including Hot Zone Hunter and has a lot of gold. So that definitely makes him so much better because not many players have this many gold, this many silver badges, but Sleepy Floyd does. So that makes me a little happier about doing this. But I don't know, was it worth it is the real question. I've got no idea. Because all up, I reckon that cost me about 200,000 MT, which is definitely a lot. Because 200,000 MT is worth about what? Like 4,000 Australian dollars. So that's quite expensive. You know, I'm just so grateful that I'm in a position to be able to spend $4,000 on this game. So thank you guys so much. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, serious. <laughs> You're kidding. Did you actually spend that much? Are you kidding me? You spent $4,000. It's for the content. Oh, that's like a puppy, some shoes and a holiday. We could buy two like French Bulldogs. But I got a pink diamond. I'm just finding something to throw at. I hope you know that whole time I was joking. Oh, you didn't spend $4,000. No. Oh my God. I thought you were being serious. But yes, yeah, so looking at the team now, it looks so good. Like, can you believe we've got a pink diamond and then a diamond as well? It's fire. I just need to get a shack. That's literally it now. But I I do want to try out this card's release so let's go into freestyle he does have some okay hot spots i will say that and let's check his release it's a bit weird where he releases the ball is so weird but the one thing i will say his shot is cash i've never greened this much with a card but sleepy floyd seems like the man to do it wow i think it's just because i know exactly where to look where where i need to let go to let go of my release it's pretty much exactly when he pulls it up to his eyes so exactly when he pulls it to his eyes that's when you let go i actually think this card's gonna be a beast for the start of the year he's definitely looking very good and i'm excited so if you guys do want to see a gameplay be sure to smash that like button as this sleepy floyd actually seems like the real deal after seeing his release so yeah thank you guys for watching smash that like button subscribe for new i appreciate you all watching this video and i'm on that grind for 2k22 so be on the lookout for more vids anyway that's pretty much it thank you for watching be sure to subscribe for new follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye